Here at RF Horton today we've got the core championships for the, all the Air Cadet bands and this is a culmination of wing uh, ch uh, championships, region championships and then the best come here for us to judge uh, and a fun time is had by all. What I encourage them to do is to have fun and to sort of watch what the others are doing so they can pick up tips and think, oh yes, we can use that in our display. At so, uh, regional level they have competitions in music. This is the core finals, but it's not just music. We had drill yesterday all day. Um, today is the music finals and you'll see ensembles, you'll see marching bands, you'll see individual percussionists and buglists and soloists. Um, it's a combination of work that the cadets have built up to throughout the year. I am so proud to be Commandant of the Air Cadets. This is the, the epitome of the excellence that the cadets can achieve in music. This is the, the culmination of a year's worth of competition. We're very lucky to have the first time on her first official engagement with the Air Cadets is our honorary ambassador, Group Captain Carol Forderman. And we've asked her to be our ambassador because Carol is an aviation enthusiast. She's a very clever chick and the kids are really, really excited that she's going to fly around the world next year. And hopefully we're going to follow her on that adventure. So she's got really close links with the Air Force already. Her children are um, also ex-cadets. Her daughter's in the University Air Squadron. Everything just seems to be a great fit between Carol and the Air Cadet organisation. So this is her first engagement. She only la launched last, last week at Syaston and now she's come to her first engagement to meet the cadets, see the volunteers and just see what we get up to. It was fantastic to be uh, asked. I remember when I got the, uh, the letter through asking um, uh, if I'd become honorary ambassador uh, for Air Cadets and uh, I was so thrilled. It was something I always wanted to join. Uh, back in the 70s I read engineering at university at Cambridge and uh, and at that time the Air Squadron wouldn't take girls and it's a sort of a celebration really, it's like coming full circle for me. It's, a, um, it's an, you know, I've always wanted to be part of the RAF in some form or other uh, and, uh, and now I am, I couldn't be happier, genuinely couldn't be happier. I've always wanted to fly, I always and only ever wanted to be a pilot and uh, because of the time I was born in, uh, women weren't allowed and, uh, and I was from a very poor family and so on, so we didn't have money in, in order to, to train me up. So I got into television, but it wasn't ever anything that I wanted to, to be or do, to be honest. I've had a great time, don't get me wrong, but it's, uh, my, my passion is flying. I got my um, private pilot's licence last Christmas, and uh, it's like a Christmas present to myself by achieving it. And then next year, because um, I've spent a year building up my licences and ratings, and I've got another year of that, and I get a second plane, to, which I'm going to fly around the world solo in next year, which is a big, big thing. I, once I've done it, I'll be the ninth woman ever to have done it. So.